Hi. Scott from Seattle. Lovely to meet you. Oh, dear. It's not it's a whole bunch. So Awesome. It's, it's war- I'm it's so no, it's awesome. Light. I am so Light awesome. Yard. I'm so it's warm. <laughs> it is warm in here. Oh. Have you been to Seattle? Uh, I have been to Portland. Does that count? That's close. Yeah. I mean, they wouldn't let but me. But we need to get you a little line. farther north. Yeah. Yeah. I've had your coffee. Yeah. Well, good. And which is your? What is your favorite coffee from Seattle? Um, the the really dark roast. Oh. You're trying to trick me, aren't you? No. No, I'm gonna I know it. some people from Seattle. I'm going to trick you now. Oh, shivers. Let's play Washington State Fairies versus oh, no, Disney don't. Fairies. Okay. It'll There's be a, so, <laughs> easy. It's so easy. We'll start off easy. Okay. Tinkerbell. What am I meant to do with this? Is this a free association? Is it a Disney Fairy or a Washington State Fairy? You know the green boat? No, we've got to go back to basics. Okay. Washington State, we have a lot of fairies. Oh, no, so this is a island. language issue. When you say fairy, I think you mean the thing with... The, so it's, right. it's, we say fairy and fairy. Oh. See, there's a slight difference. Whereas in America, everything sounds the same. Fairy. Fairy. But so what, how, would you, how do you say the difference between the, like the, the fairy godmother is not a boat? No, fairy godmother is not a boat. So say, say the two things. Washington State fairy. Yes. Fairy godmother. See, exactly. There's no difference. See? How do you people communicate with each other? <laughs> I mean... With, we still use, like, stone tablets. Yes. <laughs> no. So your, your problem is compounded. I, I don't think I can help you in three and a half minutes. We're throwing this contest out the window. I mentioned to Kenneth that your character in this goes from classy to brassy real fast. That's good. See, huh? just a couple of letter C-B, changes. CB, classy to brassy. <laughs> Look, it, we, it, you want to, I could see where she was going, yeah. but then you think, how do you, how do you end up being someone who people will not suspect to being, to, to losing your shit, so to speak? <laughs> you know, is this a family channel? Sure. Um, and, and you only have a few scenes to get there. It starts out, I mean, <clears throat> when your first shot is just so unbelievably elegant and classy, mm. and then your character gets into it, and it's, no, it's so much I, fun. I think I scared Ken the first time I laughed the character laughed and he thought it was a bit much and I said well you know it's always when you're out to dinner with someone and they look so gorgeous and then they eat and you think oh my god you're a pig or or they open their mouths and they're really dumb you know there's something that gives them away and so I said well maybe it's her laugh and it was a quick way of sort of saying this is this is what's to come ah, it's it's beautiful how much fun was it to be a part of this classic production. I mean that's this is a that's a it's an instant classic, don't you think? I think so. I think I mean that was that was what um Ali Shermer and David Barron, who were two of the producers, really kept talking about us. We want it to be they didn't want it to be cynical. They mm. wanted to be something in it for literally for all of the family. And that's a really difficult remit for for a director because you want to you want to um go to the heart of for a contemporary audience, but you also want to make something that's gonna last. Ken is the consummate um storyteller. You know, he has played Hamlet, and he has told that story many, many times, but, you know, whether he's acting in it or directing it, he understands the freshness of those stories, and I think he's done that by, by simply being true and generous um, as a, you know, as a storyteller. It's absolutely beautiful. Come to Seattle. We'll ride the ferry, have some coffee, I don't know okay? what you're talking about.